One day, as John was reading Sarah's favorite book aloud, her finger twitched. He thought he had imagined it, but then her eyelids fluttered. Within minutes, Sarah was awake. The doctors were stunned. They called it a medical miracle. Sarah's recovery was swift and complete. She returned home within weeks with no lasting effects from her coma. John's faith had paid off. Their story spread, inspiring others who were facing similar situations. It was a reminder that hope should never be abandoned. Hope is a powerful force. It can carry us through the darkest times, but hope isn't always easy to hold on to. It requires faith and patience, faith that things will get better, patience to wait for that better day to come. In today's fast-paced world, patience is a rare commodity. We want instant results, instant cures, instant solutions, but life doesn't always work that way. Sometimes we need to wait, to trust, to believe. Faith doesn't mean sitting idle. It means taking action while trusting in a positive outcome. It's about doing our part and then letting go of the results. It's about believing in something greater than ourselves. Patience is not passive. It's an active waiting. It's continuing to move forward even when progress seems slow. It's holding on to hope even when circumstances seem hopeless. Together, faith and patience can create miracles. Depression is a common response to such challenges. It can make us feel like there's no way out, no light at the end of the tunnel. We may feel alone, abandoned, forgotten. These feelings are real and valid, but they're not the end of the story. Like the story of Carlos's addiction, another common struggle. It can feel like a never-ending cycle of pain and disappointment, both for the addicted person and their loved ones. Breaking free can seem impossible, but it's not. Recovery is possible. Miracles happen every day in recovery rooms around the world. Unemployment, divorce, chronic illness, these are all situations that can lead to despair. But they're also opportunities for growth, for finding strength we didn't know we had, for experiencing miracles we never thought possible. Like the story of Tom, who lost his job during the pandemic. He was devastated, but that job loss led him to start his own business a business that now employs dozens of people. Or consider Maria, who was diagnosed with cancer. The treatment was brutal, but it brought her family closer together. It helped her rediscover her passion for painting. Today, she's cancer-free and a successful artist. Her illness, as terrible as it was, led to unexpected blessings. Then there's the story of a small town hit by a devastating tornado. The destruction was total, but the disaster brought the community together like never before. Strangers became friends, neighbors became family. Out of the rubble, a stronger, more united community emerged, Maria as Maria. These stories remind us that blessings can come from the most unexpected places, that what seems like a disaster can sometimes be the beginning of something beautiful. It's all about perspective, about keeping our eyes and hearts open to the possibilities. A Mother's Unwavering Belief Lisa's son, Jake, was born with a rare genetic disorder. Doctors said he would never walk or talk, but Lisa refused to accept that. She believed in her son. Every day I worked with Jake, I talked to him, sang to him. And then one day he said his first word, mama. Jake continued to defy expectations. Today, Jake is a teenager with dreams. Lisa's unwavering belief created a miracle, a powerful reminder of a mother's love. The power of community. Sometimes miracles happen through the collective efforts of a community. Like the story of a small town in Iowa that was facing severe drought. Crops were failing, farmers were losing hope. The town's economy was on the brink of collapse. But the community refused to give up. They came together to pray for rain. They organized water conservation efforts. They supported each other emotionally and financially. And then, against all odds, the rains came. Not just a sprinkle, but a season of abundant rainfall. The crops were saved, the town survived. Or consider the story of a homeless shelter that was about to close due to lack of funds. The closure would have left dozens of people on the streets. But when word got out, the community rallied. Local businesses donated supplies, individuals gave money, volunteers offered their time. Within weeks, the shelter had enough funds to stay open for another year. But more than that, it had a renewed sense of purpose. 
The community's response had shown that people cared, that miracles were possible when people came together. Science meets faith. In today's world, science and faith are often seen as opposites, but sometimes they come together in miraculous ways. Like the story of Dr. Ben Carson, a neurosurgeon who relied on both his medical skills and his faith to perform groundbreaking surgeries. Dr. Carson was known for taking on cases that other doctors deemed hopeless. He would study, plan, and prepare meticulously. But before each surgery, he would also pray. He believed that his skills were a gift from God to be used in service of others. One of his most famous cases involved separating conjoined twins. The operation was extremely risky. Many experts said it couldn't be done, but he believed it was possible. He spent months preparing, and he prayed. The surgery was a success. Both twins survived and thrived. Dr. Carson's story shows that science and faith can work together, that medical miracles can happen when skill meets belief. It's a reminder that we don't have to choose between reason and faith. We can embrace both. Hope in the darkest hour. Sometimes hope appears when all seems lost. Amanda was trapped in a collapsed building after an earthquake. She could hear rescue workers, but they couldn't hear her. Amanda refused to give up. She prayed. On the third day, a rescue dog found her. Within hours, she was pulled from the rubble. Amanda's story reminds us that hope can sustain us. And where there's hope, there's the potential for miracles. The Ripple Effect of Miracles Miracles don't just affect the individuals involved. They create ripples that spread far and wide. Like the story of Mark, who received a life-saving organ donation. His recovery inspired him to become an advocate for organ donation. Today, his efforts have saved countless lives. Or consider the case of a small charity that received an unexpected million-dollar donation. That donation allowed them to expand their services, to help more people, to create more miracles in their community. The initial act of generosity multiplied many times over. Then there's the story of a teacher who refused to give up on a troubled student. Her belief in him turned his life around. That student went on to become a successful businessman. Now he funds scholarships for underprivileged kids. One act of faith created a legacy of hope. These stories show us that miracles aren't isolated events. They're the beginning of something bigger. They inspire us to believe, to hope, to act. Each miracle has the potential to create more miracles. It's a beautiful cycle of hope and positive change. Keeping faith alive. In a world full of cynicism and doubt, keeping faith alive can be challenging. We're bombarded with negative news. With stories of tragedy and loss, it's easy to lose hope, to stop believing in miracles. But that's when we need faith the most. Keeping faith alive doesn't mean ignoring reality. It means choosing to believe in possibilities, in potential, in the power of hope. It means looking for the good in every situation, finding reasons to be grateful, even in difficult times. One way to keep faith alive is to surround ourselves with positive influences, to seek out stories of hope and miracles, to connect with people who believe in the power of faith, to practice gratitude daily. These small acts can help us maintain a positive outlook. Another important aspect is to be open to miracles in our own lives, to recognize the small blessings we receive every day, the unexpected kindness of a stranger, the beauty of a sunrise, the love of family and friends. These are all miracles in their own right. Your story matters. Everyone has a story of hope to share, a moment when faith made a difference, when a miracle big or small changed everything. Your story matters. It has the power to inspire others, to give hope to someone who might be struggling. Maybe you've experienced a medical miracle, or perhaps you've seen a relationship healed against all odds. You might have overcome addiction or found unexpected joy in a difficult situation. Whatever your story, it's worth sharing. Sharing our stories of hope and miracles does more than inspire others. It reinforces our own faith. It reminds us of the power of hope in our lives. It helps us remember that miracles do happen, that faith and patience can create amazing outcomes. So don't keep your story to yourself. Share it with friends and family, write it down, Post it in the comments below this video. You never know who might need to hear exactly what you have to say. 
Your story of hope could be the miracle someone else is waiting for. If this video resonated with you, subscribe to our channel for more uplifting content.